Welcome to the Sounds of Resistance channel. In the face of the unstoppable advances of the Ukrainian army, the Kremlin administration and Russian leader Vladimir Putin fell into such despair that the steps taken by both the Russian leader and the Kremlin began to result in scandal. A Russian power that has lost its occupation fortresses such as Kharkiv and Kherson is opening much deeper as it tries to heal its wounds. Talks and decisions taken in the Kremlin are kept hidden from the Russian people. At the beginning of the war, there are still terrifying facts that remain undisclosed as the Russian administration hid its troop losses. Last Wednesday, Russian leader Vladimir Putin announced on the Russian state channel that 300,000 Russian male citizens would be drafted while announcing his decision for partial mobilization. Is the mobilization decision Putin's last gamble? In the Kremlin, the ropes began to break. Let's pay attention right after the Russian leader's speech. Interestingly, Russian Defense Minister Shoigu has also made a statement, stating that the 300,000 soldiers that Putin aims to include in the army will be increased to 1 million in the future, based on the seventh article of the decree. Russian Defense Minister Shoigu left thousands of question marks in their minds. Since the drafting of the draft law, which will declare the mobilization decision, Russian citizens have started to leave their country as if they were fleeing from the place of the apocalypse. Russian citizens form 24-hour queues at the border gates of neighboring countries such as Armenia, Georgia and Turkey. Especially after the 1 million target of the Russian defense minister, Russian airline companies announced that they had exhausted all their plane tickets. The Russian people can now recognize the events that are expected to happen in the future. Nothing in Russia is as bright as the picture of happiness Putin wants to show. The Russian leader used to play his cards top secret. It's impossible for Putin to do that right now, with Russia so confused. A very serious revolt broke out against Russia, whose internal revolts were inflaming day by day, which would deeply affect the Kremlin and Putin and set on the world's agenda. The center of the shocking revolt is Dagestan, one of the autonomous republics of the Russian Federation. After Vladimir Putin's decision to mobilize, the Engri group, which blocked a federal highway in Dagestan, staged protests against the mobilization decision and the war. Citizens of Dagestan, drawing attention to the untold behind the scenes of the Ukraine-Russia war, complained that Vladimir Putin hid the deaths of 60,000 Russian soldiers, stating that there are thousands of undisclosed facts that the Russian leader hides even from his country. The Dagestani group expressed that they are against the war in Ukraine and that Vladimir Putin should end this war. The flexible seventh article of the mobilization decree is known even by the citizens of Dagestan. This article in the decree aims to increase the number of 300,000 people to be recruited to the Russian army to 1 million, perhaps more than 20 million with the declaration of total mobilization. Russian state leader Putin stated in the mobilization decision that citizens with military experience would be included in the army, but the facts in the Dagestan were blood chilling. Russian National Guard units came to Dagestan and forced local people to go to war in Ukraine and even threaten the people of Dagestan by reading the order of the Russian administration. The backside of the joint decision taken by Russian leader Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin is not what it seems at all. A new one has been added to the scandal signed by the Russian administration. According to the information received from the local people of Dagestan, the Russian administration has secretly announced that those who refuse to be sent to Ukraine to fight will be stripped of their citizenship in this region. Local citizens of Dagestan, on the other hand, are quite uneasy about this issue. But regardless of the consequences, Dagestanis still stand bravely in front of Putin. All the dirty political games played by the Russian administration do not seem to intimidate Dagestan, an autonomous republic under Russia. The Russian administration has been looking for soldiers to fight in Ukraine side by side. Vladimir Putin puts even the autonomous republics connected to Russia under threat by darkening his eyes. However, the Russian leader does not seem to have found what he hoped for in Dagestan. The people of Dagestan think that going to war in Ukraine is tantamount to death. 
Therefore, the people of Dagestan emphasize that they will revolt against Putin and his administration with the words, if we are going to die, we will die in our country. It is claimed that the oppressive practices of the Moscow administration in Dagestan are also carried out in Tajikistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. One of the most striking threat policies of the Russian administration occurred in universities in Siberia. Russian Defense Minister Shoigu stated that there will not be full-time students among the 300,000 Russian citizens to be recruited into the army as part of the mobilization. But yesterday morning, Russian National Guard units are among the allegations that they went to many universities in Siberia and that the Russian Guard's units threatened the students there and forced them to fight in Ukraine. The Russian Army Administration attaches special importance to Siberia probably because the winter is approaching and directly selects the cold-resistant Siberians to send to the invasion in Ukraine during the winter. While the Russian administration, which made scandal after scandal, continued to search for soldiers, the Russian leader this time set his sights on the workers in Central Asian countries. The Russian leader, who rewarded those who went to war in Ukraine with $3,200, thinks that human life is so cheap. Also, in another scandalous incentive from the Russian leader, he announced that he would give $4,800 dollars to those who agree to go to war in Ukraine for each volunteer who renders or destroys Ukrainian military equipment unusable. The Russian administration, whose reputation was destroyed in the world political scene, also undermined the status of its own army. Until eight months ago, the Russian army was one of the best and strongest armies in the world. Now, because of Russian leader Vladimir Putin's inconsistent diplomacy and war strategies, the large Russian army has become the object of ridicule. Russia has never had so many problems with the supply of soldiers throughout its history. Why do you think the Russian administration is having such a hard time finding soldiers to fight in Ukraine? Actually, the answer is very simple. The soldiers who were sent to war in Ukraine did not even know that they would fight the Ukrainians on February 24. At least they did not expect a cross-border operation. They assumed that the pre-February 24 preparations were just intimidation. In addition, the invading Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine were not doing this for a certain purpose and belief. They were just being sent to die for Putin's ambitions and egos. This situation led to internal conflicts within the Russian army, deterioration of unity and solidarity, atrophy and patriotic feelings, desertions from the front and selling their military equipment and even tanks. Another answer is that even Russia's own local people living within the borders of Russia want the war in Ukraine to stop and they do not want to go to Ukraine to fight. For this reason, Russian citizens are willing to leave their country, their order and even their relatives behind. The Russians are in a very serious quagmire. The end predicted for Russia seems pretty close. Let's take a look at another detail where the devil is in the details. Recently, Russia's deputy defense minister, Dmitry Bulgakov, was dismissed by Vladimir Putin as the Ukrainian advances were at the crossroads. It was stated that the head of the National Defense Control Center of the Russian Ministry of Defense, Colonel Mikhail Mizintsev, was appointed to replace Dmitry Bulgakov, the army general with the highest military position in Russia after Putin, and the hero insignia. This is where things start to get messy. It is an odd choice because beyond doubt that Putin appointed Mizintsev, who is a colonel instead of Bulgakov, the highest ranking army general after the martial rank, to such an important position. So, who is Mikhail Mizintsev actually? Mizintsev, aka the butcher of Mariupol, the bloody murderer of dozens of innocent civilian Ukrainian citizens in the port city of Mariupol in Ukraine. Colonel Mizintsev is the number one name of the Mariupol disaster, where the whole world remained silent and war crimes were committed. There are also allegations that Mizintsev committed many crimes against humanity in Syria. It is claimed that Mizintsev, whose closeness with Vladimir Putin has not gone unnoticed since the moment he took his new position, knew dark secrets about Russia and cooperated with Putin. 
Russia today is much darker than it was during the Soviet era. Hoping to meet you again with the facts. Stay cool. Thanks for watching.